Jackie Speer, Democrat of California, sits on the House Intelligence Committee. She joins me now. Thanks so much for being on. Now, this is confusing, Congresswoman, because the FBI director had been invited back, we've been told, to testify in private. Now, that was scrapped because of, apparently, again, the infighting inside the committee. Now we just learned that the FBI director has been invited back again to testify. Can you tell us anything about this? Well, I really can't. As you can imagine, John, things are happening here uh, without the benefit of communication between the Democrats and the Republicans on the committee. It's, you know, unprecedented. This committee has always been bipartisan. It's always worked together. This whole set of circumstances occurred because last Monday when we did have the hearing, Director Comey uh, released a bombshell. And the bombshell was not only was he investigating the Russian intervention in our election, he was also investigating whether or not Trump campaign personnel were engaged with the Russians in the intervention. Once that happened, I think the uh, Republicans on the committee, and they are the majority, decided to pull way back. And that's why all of a sudden the hearing that was scheduled for today was canceled, while there's been a callback for a closed hearing with uh, Mr. Comey and uh, Mr. Rogers. And I think that right now we're at a standstill because normally these only happen when it's done in conjunction with the Democrats and the Republicans. And Would you... Would you agree to, a, to to the FBI director coming back and testifying in private? Uh, I would agree to that, but I want to make sure that the hearing that was scheduled, that both the Democrats and the Republicans agreed to have with Sally Yates and with directors Brennan and Clapper, that needs to be rescheduled. Once that's rescheduled, I'm happy to have uh, a closed hearing with uh, Director Comey. Right, let's talk about Sally Yates, the former uh, deputy attorney general, the former acting uh, attorney general. The Washington Post reported that the White House tried to block, had originally tried to block her from coming to testify before your committee. Now, the White House flat out denies this, 100 percent denies it, says it did not stand in the way uh, of Sally Yates testifying. H have you seen any evidence that the White House got involved? Well, it depends on whether you call the Department of Justice part of the White House. Um, I believe the Department of Justice was trying to silence her. And well, but the, the, they, wrote a letter, they wrote a letter. They wrote a letter saying that you need to check with the White House essentially to see if the right. White House is going to uh, invoke executive privilege. The White House didn't do that. So, as I can tell by reading the letters, I'm not sure that anyone tried to actively stop it. Well, I, I believe that there probably was an effort that is not reflected in the letters. I don't know that for a fact. Um, but I, I believe that there probably was an effort to discourage her from participating. But you've got to remember, this was a, an agreement made by both the Republicans and the Democrats of the committee to have these three parties come before us today. So uh, it, it was a cooperative effort, uh, and it only changed, I believe, after the hearing that took place last Monday. So your chair, Devin Nunes, informed the White House about new information he says he received uh, that he informed them before he briefed the committee last week. He said he would make that information available to you. Have you seen it yet? No, we have not. Uh, and again, uh, this is supposed to be a, a collaborative, cooperative group of people, Republicans and Democrats. Uh, he has not divulged who was his source. He has not uh, divulged the documents. And, you know, he has frankly been on all sides of it. Either it's masked or it's unmasked. It's not about Russia. Um, he has to go tell the president. And yet it, the president had access to this information. Uh, and presumably he didn't take a document with him to meet with the president. So it, the whole set of circumstances over the last few days is very regrettable and really cast a, a huge cloud over the chairman and, frankly, the committee. The chairman today said he is not going to recuse himself from this investigation. He essentially said, why would I? Uh, what's your response to that? Do you still think he should? You know, he's created this mess. He's the one who did not coordinate with the ranking member on the committee about the fact that he was going to look at this document. Normally they would look at it together. He goes and holds a press conference, doesn't tell the ranking member, and has a press conference, says he's on his way to the White House. I mean, the whole 
process has been very uncollaborative. So uh, putting that aside, I think he has really placed a huge question mark in the minds of the Americans as to his objectivity. And this is supposed to be an independent, underscored independent, investigation by the Intelligence Committee on this issue of Russian engagement in our election and whether or not Trump surrogates in the campaign worked with the Russians in trying to uh, sabotage the election. Congresswoman Jackie Spears.